Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I bought another car. It was a spontaneous decision and I'm in trouble. Let me explain. So, I was minding my own business, browsing over Craigslist and I found my new project car. I saw this guy, he was selling it local and it's an old car. I just decided to get it because I just could not let this car go to waste. The guy said that if he was not selling it, he was pretty much going to give it to the junkyard and I could not let that happen. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, maybe I'm, I'm crazy. I don't know. But you, you tell me. You tell me if I'm crazy. So I just decided to get it from the guy so that I can fix it up so that we can have it on the road. What car am I talking about? My new project car. Here she is. 1998 BMW M3 sedan. And I pay three thousand dollars for this yes so the day that I brought it home I had a lot of explaining to do for those people that have <laughs> wife at home you guys understand so I pretty much had to uh, tell her that I have to take her to the nail every month for a year so yeah this is uh, <laughs> I'm sorry if you're watching this. So let me actually show you a clip of when I was picking up the car right now. So this is an informal video and I'm picking up something. So the other day I was browsing through Craigslist and I saw a car and I just decided, you know what, let, let, me, let me get it. Let me save this. Let me get this car on the road. So I'm picking up a new car and this was not planned. I just saw it and kind of decided to get on it just because let me give you a little pip just because it's an M3. Yes, so I'm picking up a new car and I'm gonna make a nicer video later on, but this is just a quick video right now because uh, this is the spot. This is the spot where I actually bought the car. So here's right here, it has a lot of little issues, but I wanna keep this E36 on the road. Man, you know it's hard to find these cars on the road these days. So I wanna make sure that I keep one on the road. This is for the love of BMW and I'm here with this guy. It's like every time I'm with him, I'm picking up a new car. Maybe I should stop hanging out with you, man, because you, you make me spend too much money on cars and, Yo, and, and, and stuff. How you gonna spend it to your wife, though? <laughs> that, that is true. Yes, uh, wifey doesn't know about this, so I still don't know how I'm gonna pull up at home with with the new car so I, I, gonna I, kill ya. I, I, I don't know so if you guys have any comment please drop in the link below or drop in the description so that I can find out how I can lie about this or tell the truth I don't know which whichever you think is the best option first time we had a hard time yeah explaining about the mini so now you got, a, you got a you got a 2017 M3, you got a 2012 Mini, then you got a 1990 what eight? 1998, yeah. Now M3, three cars, bro. Okay, but but, but but look, this 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 one this one is different though. This one is more of me trying to keep this car. Cause look, it's it's beautiful, right? Once everything is if fixable. I'm, if I'm the if you're listening, if you're watching this video, I uh -oh. mean, don't, do not take this bullshit. This guy is bullshit. Hey, he hey, go away, car. go, go, go away. Don't, don't listen to him. So yeah, this is a car. It has a little issue, as you can see here. The roof need to a new paint. Here's the inside missing a few trims. The headliner is is bad. This is it. It has 204,000 miles. Yep. See how strong this engine is. It's an M3, boys. It's an M3, man. That's why I have to keep this on the road. Seats are still good for the year. A little hole right here. But yeah. This is nice. I'm very happy. I just hope I'm not dead by the time you guys see this. But uh, if I am, you know why I'm dead. As you can see, this is a beater. And then that's exactly how that guy was describing the car, as a beater. See here, the front bumper is all broken. 
but that's easily i can fix it headlight works a lot of things work on this car so i'm going to go only point out things that do not work so you have a bumper that is broken the hood here as you can see doesn't close let me actually go ahead and open that for you there you go the hood doesn't close and it doesn't even latch but the engine is good 204 thousand miles so i cannot really keep the hood open because as you can see see the hood as you can see it closes so i have to fix that it has look at this panel right here all rust the wheels these are 17 m wheels it has a really bad rust under here i'm going to show you that in a second on the top here it has a bunch of paint issues the back bumper as you can see, it's not perfect. When we go on the trunk, that's the car cover. All type of parts in there. It has a spare tire. Actually, this spare tire, this is actually the spare tire here because that tire belongs here. And this one is 245. Normally, a 225 is supposed to go on the front, but that's a spare tire because this one is losing air, so I have to take it to a tire place for them to figure it out let's go ahead and close the trunk see this little thing right here let's go on the inside really quick now again i have not touched the car i didn't clean it didn't do anything this is exactly how i picked up the car the seats here definitely can do a lot of cleaning in here that's the driver's side it has the asc and uh, ABS light on, no check engine light though. Yep. These seats are in good condition for a car that is uh, made in 1998. So you can see, that's very old car. Honestly, this car, I see them on the road sometimes and I have a friend who actually has one like this, but his is a coupe. And it has 350,000 miles on it. So when I call him up, I say, hey, man, I wanted to purchase this. He told me that, hey, man, don't even think that you can miss on this deal. This is a great deal. Go ahead and get it because the engine is solid. It also has a little AC situation. The AC blows, but it just makes a funny noise on the AC compressor. So maybe that AC compressor has to go. So those are all the problems that I know about this car. Now, again, I have not driven the car really well i only drove it to bring it to my house so i don't know anything else that could be wrong if i find additional things that are wrong i'm probably going to point it out to you guys because i'm going to fix them i mean it's not in bad condition for 1998 after you clean it up there's another rust spot right here let me go ahead and put the car on the ramp over there and then show you that that rust that i mentioned all right so i'm crawling here and as you can see this is the worst the worst thing for me right here so this is what i have to fix asap like this rust under the car it's it's just bad it's 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 really bad and you have another set right there so i need to take it to like a you know a person who can fix this if you have someone i can recommend please let me know i think the first thing that i need to do is take that uh wheel back wheel on the from the trunk here and go ahead and get it fixed once that is fixed Put it back on the car so i can have a nice proper spare wheel set on the car next probably clean it so let me go ahead and remove the wheel take it to the shop get it fixed and then um yeah so on this note i'm not going to be going to film that because i don't think you guys are interested in see how you know a mechanic fix the a tire so i'm just going to let you go and so i have now three cars on this channel mini cooper right there and the two m3s somehow this one turned out to be black also so i'm going to be tuning all of these cars as you know me but i will take my time about the f80 m3 just because i'm still on the warranty i'm still making payment on that and i don't really want to mess up you know because if something's wrong there is it costs a lot i'm not i'm not a rich guy okay but this one i can go all out that one i can go all out all out yep so that's exactly what i'm going to do don't tell the wife you can she doesn't know I'm spending on these things please don't tell her yeah so if she asks how much this costs it's, it's a thousand dollars okay she, I, I lied to her so don't don't this is between us okay um yeah 
So on this note, see you on the next video. I'm very happy, excited, and I definitely think I have a car disorder. I think I, I, I strongly believe that I have a car disorder when it comes to BMW. So stay safe and see you on the next video.